Yo, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a resume. Um, and you can use this resume to apply to any software engineering positions. So this could be internships, jobs, it does not matter. Um, overall, this is probably one of the best uh, resume formats I've seen. And this is in my resume, it's uh, Jake Ryan's resume. Um, this resume is very famous for landing top um, top internships and jobs because of the way that it, it's laid out and everything that it has. So first we'll go over, uh, we'll go from top to bottom, but uh, I'm also going to leave a link to the template down below. And and so you can copy this and change up obviously the name, information, and everything else relevant to you. But um, ultimately, this is one of the best resumes, and I'm going to talk about what makes it effective and what makes it stand out, as well as the downsides to this. <clears throat> so first, we have your name, uh, bold. Keep the same font as Jake. Just change the name. You have the phone number. Um, and then I would put another one of these uh, slashes over here and put your address, not your full address. But for example, if you live in Houston, put Houston, put Houston comma TX. Or if you live in, um, yeah, so if you live in a major city or close to a major city, put that um, location. And then you have your phone number. For the email address, I recommend putting a professional personal one, not your school one, um, just so you have it after you graduate as well. And then your LinkedIn. Um, I'm going to be making another video on how to set up your LinkedIn um, later or later this month or in the upcoming future. And then your GitHub as well. If you don't have a GitHub, I'll also show you guys how to create that as well. But ultimately, we have the education. Um, I'm guessing most of you guys are um, attending a university. So you put the university name, the location, um, the name of the degree. So he did a Bachelor of Arts in Computer Science, but I recommend doing a Bachelor of Science in computer science and then you, you don't have to major in anything and then uh, if you went to another college or if you did something else you can put this <clears throat> and then you have the experience so if you don't have any experience I have a video on how you can get a free virtual internship uh, down below in the description if you want to check that out but this is a key role in ultimately deciding if you have the relevant experience. So, so right here, um, you have the name, you have the location of what um, company it's at. So he, this was honestly a uh, university one, and then you have the you have the date, you have the location, and then. Three relevant um, points, which he basically uses um, uh, whatever technologies he used. So, of course, you don't have to have these advanced, um, these advanced APIs and databases um, and frameworks to start off with, but... Uh, the more, the higher you go up, the more experience you'll build up, so you can add these on. And then <clears throat> we have two more of these, pretty much the same thing. And then right here you have the projects, which is super vital. Um, anyone can create a project, and if you go through the virtual internship um program that I show you, you will 100% have a project to show over here as well. And then you can uh, list out what you did, 
how you did it and all of that good stuff and also there's the dates and then for the technical skills he put the languages he knows the frameworks he knows developer tools and the libraries so <clears throat> again when you're starting out you don't know most of this for example i have no idea um, how to use r or i have um, no idea how to use flask right or junit um, so i'm not sure why wordpress is a framework but and then i have no idea how to use google cloud or um, pycharm or docker so these um, you'll learn along the way but focus on one language at a time so on my channel i teach java so java is um, probably the first thing you want to learn and then move on to python and other languages and then obviously front end javascript and html down the line as well and then frameworks um so once you learn front end you'll use more of the frameworks so these are two of the front end frameworks and then this one um, goes with python so you'll learn those and then these developer tools um i'll show you guys how to use some of these in the next video but and then libraries uh, the more you code the more libraries you'll build up but this is the ultimately one of the best resumes um, that you can use so i'll link this down in the description uh, make sure to use this just change up the information to fit your experience your relevant information and yeah good luck guys